Van Vliet. Here's Barnes. Quick move. Driving. Oh! The slam dunk. Vicious and quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's going on, Hoodie Fam? It's been a minute. Like, it's been a good little minute since I actually sat down and recorded a build video. Or honestly, it's been a good minute since I've actually recorded literally anything 2K22 related, right? So, I'm gonna get straight into this rather than trying to push this video on a lot longer than it needs to be because I'm gonna be real with y'all. I recorded this once earlier and I went back and played a few games with my friends using the build and i noticed a few things that i kind of want to change because if i do choose to use the build in rec specific alterations need to be made so i decided to make them alterations and rather than feeling like the 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 build plays more of an evan mobley because that is the comparison that we will get obviously i feel like it's more of like a rookie of the year scotty barnes honestly just minus the playmaking, though. Minus the playmaking. I mean, I feel like it's kind of, you know, the same out of both of them. But I ain't even going to cap. Do you be going to call this the Scotty Barnes build just because, you know what I'm saying? The title sounds better. But let's get right into this. As you can see, 6'9", 222. Um, I'm going to go. Nah, I can't. I'm not going to go 225. I was going to go 225 for the memes. But I'm not going to go 225 for the memes because the only thing that would have changed is it would have been. Let's, let's, let's go right here. That's cool. We're going to go 224 just for the memes. One off of Scotty Barnes' actual weight. Height, we're going to stay 6'9", 7'6 at the wingspan, and defined as the body type. And we're going to get straight into the attributes. But before we actually get into the attributes, make sure you go down below, bro. And make sure you go like this video. It's been a long time since we dropped some 2K content. And I'm going to be honest with you. Y'all know why we're back. Y'all know why I'm back. Y'all know why everyone's back. We want mascots, bro. I'm ready to run around the basketball court as G Wiz and boom on people. It's as simple as that. But let's get to these attributes. I'm going to start off with the physicals. I decided that I'm going to go max speed, obviously. That's 74, 71. With your boost, if you get, what, four stars, that's 78 and a 75 speed. That's pretty solid for a four that can honestly play from the three to the five which is crazy this build can literally play from the three to the five if you want to play rec or pro-am or anything like that and if you're just playing park it can literally either play the two or it can play the three it's actually crazy i would say maybe it can run the one more like scotty barnes but since i haven't maxed it out yet i don't necessarily know how good the ball handling really is just yet strength i went with a 51 because strength only matters but so much and i definitely learned that today even if somebody is working you down low in the paint as long as you actually know what you're doing when it comes to defense you'll be all right brother you'll be all right brother 75 for our vertical and 96 for the stamina honestly if you really want you could probably bump the vert down to 71 because the only reason why we have it like this in the first place is because on this build i'm only getting what is it the elite off one contact dunks and then the basic off one contact dunks because you can't get the other ones because my driving dunk does not actually get high enough but i'm gonna just go with the 75 i did off rip because why not defensive this is where the 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 big comparison between whether it's a scotty barnes build or an evan mobley build really comes in because if it was a true tried and true scotty barnes build i feel like i should just like damn near full yellow this out right but since i kind of prefer the idea of using this build to one play defense and also be able to score i have to sacrifice somewhere because as i've said in previous videos that you guys can't see anymore because they're no longer on the channel when it comes to building certain players in the nba it's almost impossible because if a player has all aspects of the game down you literally can't copy them because you have to sacrifice somewhere but defensive rebounding we're rocking with a 91 and i took my offensive rebounding to an 84 
boom we went like that only reason we did it like this 91 is used because we want that gold rebound chaser and 84 is just because just to say some points you know what i'm saying block i took it up to a 97 so we can get hall, hall of fame huff i said hall of fame huff what is that i meant hall of fame intimidator and then also hall of fame rim protector because you know those type of badges are actually really helpful and i'm gonna tell y'all exactly how i'm gonna do the bad situation once we get to allocating these badges all right steals we went to 78 similar to how i did in the last build though this one just i went to 78 because i want to get golden that ah, interceptor other than that it doesn't really matter if you go up or if you go down for real for real so i would say i'd recommend just staying at 78 perimeter defense we went 82 so is that an 82 or am i blind okay, so y'all remember how i said something about making scotty barnes 224 pounds for the memes no we're making him 222 pounds like i was saying perimeter defense we got that at an 82 and then lastly interior defense i have my interior defense up at an 83 so we are actually able to uh, keep our strength at a 58 it is my fault strength wasn't actually at 51 i apologize about that are yeah just like this all right yes just like that at the end of that you end up with 33 total defensive badges and that's just right now okay just right now here speed of ball i went 66 ball handling i went 71 just because i wanted to be able to get tight handles up to silver if you go all the way up with your ball handling it doesn't really make much of a difference and i don't know if there's a huge gap in between being able to ball handle with 71 and being able to ball handle with 76 so honestly i would say just stick with 71 i don't think it's going to be that big of a difference and then lastly pass accuracy just because of the way i want to put these other pieces i was only able to get up to 55 pass accuracy because my goal was solely to be able to get bullet passer if i were to go up to what is this to 70 ball handling not ball handling but 70 pass accuracy it would make it a lot more difficult for me to be able to allocate these other badges the way that i'm trying to so i'm gonna show y'all really quickly how it would probably boil down because in the build well in the build that i am gonna rock with right unless i mess around and find something here that i actually really like i was doing something like this right 80 mid-range a maxed out 78 three-point shot which won't really get any higher unless you get that arm sleeve from this season which will put me at a 79 free throw i'm gonna touch that in a second it doesn't really matter just yet right for our actual finishing i went 90 standing dunk and this is where i'm like just simply having that playmaking is going to ruin what i want to do right because then i can't get what i want here and it makes it tough like i can maybe touch my three-point shot but in doing that i lose certain badges like hold on yeah like i can't really play around with it the way that i want to play around with it so we're going to just drop this back down to the 55 that it was going to be at max out the three ball you're supposed to have an 86 driving dunk a 90 standing dunk i went 80 with the driving layup i believe is it 80 no i went 79 with the driving layup we went with a 55 close shot and then lastly the way i allocated these last points just off of the fact of me seeing what exactly happened when i tried to use this build earlier in some rec games you can't shoot free throws bro you can't shoot free throws for shit and like if you're a big in rec unless you're playing like extremely hard comp games bro you're gonna get hit and you're gonna have to shoot free throws so i put 71 free throws so i can actually be able to hit him and you'll be surprised how perfectly these badges line up in this case you get the shooting takeovers besides one of them i believe unless it's only two honestly i haven't touched this 2k in so long that i completely forgot everything you get the lock badges you get the defensive badges and you get the rebounding badges what i think i'm gonna go with off rip is i think i'm gonna go with honestly i've been playing more park right so i think i might go with like extreme clamps but just because i think it makes more sense not nah, actually i'm gonna go with extreme clamps and then i'm gonna go with perimeter badge drop and i'm gonna just do that for now obviously i'm gonna be unlocking uh what's it mamba mentality so i can change it i just went double lock didn't i it don't matter 
As you can see, you see shades of Chris Webber, Evan Mobley, and Wendell Carter Jr. Wendell Carter Jr. is not even in this conversation. Chris Webber and Evan Mobley, you know, I ain't gonna lie. That's actually kind of crisp. I ain't even gonna lie to you. But this is Rookie of the Year, Scotty Barnes, in my opinion. It's a Rookie of the Year, Scotty Barnes, that completely sacrifices Scotty Barnes' passing ability because I would not be able to get the defensive badges that I personally have as well as being able to get Scotty Barnes' true playmaking, which fucking sucks. But I love me some Scotty, man. I can't even cap you. I love me some Scotty Barnes. So we're just going to rock out with this rookie of the year, Scotty Barnes. Here's how we're going to do this, right? Boom. Limitless takeoff. And hold on, wait. I got to say this, right? Before anybody, and I mean anybody, catches an attitude or has an issue with me claiming this is my rookie of the year, Scotty Barnes build, right? I need you to understand that yes there's one aspect of the game where i just want to make a build that represents an avatar not an avatar but represents a player in the nba that i actually like but then there's a second aspect where i want to make sure that my build is usable so you gotta understand you gotta meet me halfway and if you can't that's on you get the stepping <laughs> but boom posterizer i went fast twitch hall of fame although i don't know how good or bad this badge is at this point but just simply what fast twitch does sounds like a good idea and then lastly i feel like these last seven badges all depends on where you're playing right if you're playing in like park and you are actually handling the ball or something like that i'd say you go like gold slithery and maybe gold slither and maybe like a silver putback or a silver rise up or even unstrippable but if you're playing like wreck or something like that which i've been doing a lot recently i'm personally going to put it in gold rise up and then i'm gonna put gold put back on and boom that's what we're rocking with for our finishing badges shooting badges now in this case i'm taking into account i hit 40 in season one because that was the main season that i did play 2k in i'm going to be putting that one shooting badge right here so i'm gonna have 23 shooting badges right so boom blinders boom corner specialist limitless spot up i'm putting that on bronze boom boom for dead eye and catch and shoot immediately you already know how it's going sniper i'm putting that on hall of fame until i get really really used to shooting once again i can't even hit the freaking button bro until i get used to shooting again so i don't completely smoke all of my shots and boom i'm gonna put bronze hot zone hunter and with that last badge i'm either going to go bronze green machine or i'm gonna go silver hot zone or silver limitless spot up i'm not sure which one i want to do just yet but it's going to be one of them, honestly. So, boom, that's how you're going to rock out with your shooting badges. Your playmaking badges, boom, bullet passer, easy. Quick first step, easy. I want to put needle threader on, so I'm going to put needle threader on, man. I mean, ED with ED, tight handles, boom, easy. And then lastly, I believe I went downhill bronze and then unpluckable silver. So I'll be able to dribble the ball a little bit and hopefully needle threader and bullet passer give me the ability to actually pass the ball the way I want it. And if you don't want to put on needle threader, honestly, so you don't have that, you know, extra little air quoted passing ability, then you could always put on, you know, handles for days. But I don't know how the handles work for this build slash this big just yet so do that at your own risk honestly one way or another you can always change it so i'm gonna just rock with needle threader for right now in the video at least and then lastly the defensive badges now with the defensive badges what i am debating on doing right is i'm debating on going to i forget i think it's texas tech that gives you plus four defensive badges which will put me at 37 30 seven defensive badges and i'm pretty sure i could get more by the end of the season i could have 38 if i want to put that last point in there but what i'm gonna rock with is i'm gonna put brick wall on silver hall of fame intimidator because that's literally the reason why we went about the way of having a 97 block you could get post lockdown but i'm not going to do that till i get extra badge points just yet hall of fame chase down i feel like it's kind of a necessity gold rebound also a necessity in my opinion 
lastly the weird ones that kind of are i feel like are niche or i'll do it at the end box i feel like you kind of got to have that whether you're playing lock or whether you're playing actual big it's kind of a need pogo stick i personally like to use pogo stick because you know it actually helps you out a lot and then lastly hall of fame rim protector now lastly i feel like these last few badge points and where exactly they can go are really niche because boom i want clamps but do you need clamps if you're not checking anybody on the perimeter so you could always go like a like a pickpocket or do you really want silver pickpockets you could always bronze out some badges you know what i'm you know what i'm saying like you get where i'm coming from and if i get the plus four it's gonna put me at seven badges so that either would let me get a whole bunch of bronze or maybe like a few silvers you know what i'm talking about so i'm honestly gonna just for now put it on clamps just easiest possible selection and we're gonna rock with that the official rookie of the where, where they at where the raptors at hey scotty where, where's he at oh oh <clears throat> there it is damn we took his job the official rookie of the year scotty barnes bill has been created for me and honestly the gameplay for this build is going to drop very very soon because i've been trying to grind out trying to get towards those mascots a lot sooner than later because i don't want to take the entire season to be able to get there but i know i'm going to get there i don't care for the jetpack i just want to be a mascot bro i just want to be a mascot but if you made it this far in the video first time we've done a build video in a long time and the first time we've even dropped 2k content in a long time so go down below and straight smash that like button i mean like destroy that joint like your computer better be dying life support i don't even want your computer phone switch uh what what, what is it etch to sketch i don't want whatever you're watching this video on to even be capable of conceiving that's not even the word what am i talking about <laughs> man y'all get the gist bro make sure y'all go down there y'all like this video y'all comment something down below honestly i don't care what y'all comment down below because i love interacting with my comment section and if y'all say something i'm gonna say something back it's as simple as that but hey man your boy hoodie out peace i'm gonna catch y'all in the gameplay coming really really soon boys